Thank you for your loving and generous support of women's ministries, prayer ministries, and health ministries throughout the past five years in the Iowa-Missouri Conference. God is faithful and true, and I thank Him for you. Before 2020, the Women's Ministries Department was blessed to hold relevant, in-person, conference-wide retreats for the women of our conference and beyond for 31 consecutive years. Hallelujah! Thank you for coming together to worship God, befriend other women, and invest in learning about each other in the best ways to approach the God-given privileges and duties in our lives. Thank you for beholding what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the daughters of God. Due to challenges the pandemic brought beginning in 2020, God led the retreat committee to conduct this event in 2020 virtually with Zoom and Facebook. This allowed us an opportunity to present seminars in nine languages, and we were overjoyed to learn that more than 1,400 viewers watched these programs. God gave wonderful evidence that what He was willing to begin, He would continue and complete. The special mission offerings collected each year are shown in the session booklet. Grace and peace to all of you who have given to these important ministries and who have supported our local women through scholarship donations or craft sales. The General Conference Initiatives, 10 Days of Prayer, and the International Women's Day of Prayer have been widely adopted throughout our conference. Many of our church members have taken the opportunity each year to fast together and connect with other praying individuals and groups from around the world. It's a blessing to support the world field through mission offerings and prayers. When the circuit of town hall meetings could not be completed in 2020 due to pandemic restrictions, the conference officers asked that a conference prayer line be initiated. The first phone prayer conference for I Am For Prayer was on Monday, April 6, 2020. That same week, in observance of the Iowa Day of Prayer on April 9, the Prayer Ministries Department worked with KPOG, Seventh-day Adventist Radio of Des Moines, to launch an eight-hour program of conversational prayer called Bold to Pray. This prayer broadcast continued every Thursday and scores of pastors and church members participated in various aspects of this program. In September 2020, the Rise Up Conference Prayer Initiative commenced. Our goal was to have Iowa Missouri Conference members rise up to pray together one week per month focusing on a specific conference ministry for that week, such as education or evangelism, youth, and young adults, and health. Speaking of health, I know there are those of you who have used the following resources with great success throughout the Quinquinium. The CHIP program, the Grundy Reversing Diabetes program, the Youngberg Reversing Diabetes program, the Nedley Depression and Anxiety Recovering program, and Creation Health. We are thankful for the tools that not only our World Church provides, but also those found right in our own field. While some of you have traveled to participate in the Your Best Pathway to Health or various NAD training events, we've conversely had several folks come into the conference to minister, including the remote area medical team known as RAM, which led a two-day clinic in Cape Girardeau. Thanks to all of you who have participated in the health seminars and the Fit Forever 5Ks that have been offered during camp meeting. We also appreciate the schools that have conducted events such as the Let's Move to ensure that our schools are not only educating students for healthy minds, but also for healthy bodies. We also want to give a special thanks to all of our outstanding medical professionals who have sacrificed to serve. You and your lay assistants have been integral in providing multiple ministries of comfort to our sick, suffering, and bereaved during the pandemic. May each of you prosper and be in health 
even as your souls prosper.